We are less than two weeks away from the midterm elections, and one of the political ads in high rotation on your TV is this one from Trudy Bush Valentine. Our viewer Mike wants to know in this week's Fact Finders, if Eric Schmidt is the Attorney General of the state, how could he have voted to sell farmland to China? Is this true? Well, the ad focuses on Senate Bill 9 from the 97th General Assembly in 2013. It allowed foreign business ownership of farmland in Missouri. It stated the ownership should not exceed 1%. At the time, Eric Schmidt served as a state senator representing part of St. Louis County. According to state records, Schmidt voted in May of 2013 to approve the legislation. Then he voted to override the Democratic governor's veto of the bill in September of 2013. Now, the ad is created to hit the long-running, hot button issue of mistrust between the U.S. and China. Like a boxing match where if you're behind in the late, uh, in the late rounds, you know, you just come out throwing haymakers and hope that something lands. You know, there is um, uh, quite a bit of truth to that particular uh, ad. Well, the legislation did not say farmland could or should be sold to China, but according to the Center for Strategic and International Studies, a Shanghai-based company owns a majority of the foreign-owned farmland in Missouri, and the USDA says foreign ownership of Missouri farmland exceeds that 1% limit. It's now at 1.1%. Foreign ownership, according to this government map, includes up to 10,000 acres in Taney County and up to 2,000 acres in several other southwest Missouri counties. So, coming back to the viewer's question here. If Eric Schmidt is the Attorney General of the state, how could he have voted to sell farmland to China? Is this true? We're gonna slide this to true. It is true. Eric Schmidt voted twice as a state senator to approve the sale of farmland to foreign businesses. So we're gonna rate that as true. I do wanna point out once again, he did not explicitly vote to sell farmland to Chinese businesses. If you have something you want us to investigate, email us right there, factfinders at ky3.com.